your head, the idea of the handler of the handlers. They're passing by saying uh, racial stuff like uh, gringo, white boy, and then these guys rolled up starting to say the same thing. So, there we go, more gang stalkers right there. Here, here's a video of us. Here, smile. That looked terrible. I got all wet. Well, I'm getting them too. Good timing, buddy. Hope that paid for dinner for you. So this guy, this guy right here just followed me through the parking lot. Ripped this flyer up. BKD 5946. Threw it on the ground, left his drink on the car, and then kicked my truck. Right here, he just kicked my truck. Can I get your name, sir? Yeah. Any idea who the subject is or anything? I don't know. No? Yeah. A lot of the people that stalk and harass me actually I've never seen in my life, which makes no sense. And, uh, you know, it's been happening for a while. Boom, thanks for letting me know and not making it an issue. I got a party in my truck. Yeah, me too. How's it going? Do you need some directions? No, I'm fine. Cool, what's up? You... I, ju I just had some people like around my house recently yeah. stalking me, harassing me, have my house broken into us, so I just stop and say hi to everybody. Oh no, I stay right here. Oh, oh you live here in the neighborhood? Oh, right on. Okay, cool. Bro, about that. You're just like circling around in front of my house, just like these other people, so yeah, I'm not trying to like put you in a weird spot. I just try to keep an eye on all this stuff. All right, what, 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 what? You ever heard of that? Organized stalking and harassment? Yeah. Gang stalking? Yeah, that happens to me. You're there. One, sorry, one, two, you. three, four. All those cars are just following me. And five here. They all pulled in when I pulled into this parking lot. Just wanted to catch that real quick. Mm -hmm. They didn't think I was going to pull over. Seven directly around us. 
Eight. Here comes the eighth one. <clears throat> so what are the odds of eight white cars mm. pulling up right around you? Can we even see behind us that truck? Oh, so this guy makes the U-turn can't make it in the truck, has to back up, go really slow, and make everybody at the light wait. <clears throat> cars on three sides of me. Oh, and four. So one, so one, two, three, four, uh, only four surrounding right now. Sometimes there's been like ten all the way around. But, uh, hey, check it out. Getting 
stupid little smirk on your face, don't you? For any car getting over my lane. She get in your own fucking lane. All right, folks seeing this? Checking this out? Raising their hands, do a little hand signal right now. So today it's black cars. One, two, and then as I pull in, there we go, here's three. Should be another cup coming around the roundabout. Let me get up to the house. We'll see. Sometimes when I start filming, when I notice the pattern, I start filming and then uh, like I pull them off. If I don't start filming, then oh, what? Black car roundabout. So I just walked out here to my front patio. I was here for about 10 seconds. And then this car down here pulls up. And she parks there, they got the lights on, they're just sitting there. And then this guy pulls up, and he's just sitting there. signals. Nope. And just as I suspected, just as I suspected, there is a police officer here pulling in right at the exact moment that I am. Uh, I'm what they call a targeted individual. Yeah, and I get gang stalked. Yeah, you ever heard of gang stalking? Seriously? Yeah, man, it's pretty messed up. Actually, have you ever heard about that? What? Gang stalking? Gang stalking? Gang stalking. Targeted individuals? Oh, yeah. Yeah? <laughs> I had one yesterday. <laughs> no, no, really. No. She's like, I have one all Seriously. the time. Seriously, tell me about it. No, because it's a... It's an investigation. Oh, gotcha. Okay, does the person know that they're being investigated? Uh, he's dead. Oh, really? Okay, okay. No, because so, it's no, a phenomenon really that's happening know. around the entire world right now. I'm going to end your way. I apologize, but this is a really, really serious, important thing. So, uh, and it's happening here in Amadale in our community. And, and unfortunately, some fire, police, and EMS are involved in this. And if you're not, some of the people you're working are with, but working with are involved in it. No, I'm just telling you because it's, it's, it's information that people need to know. You know? And it, it doesn't, I mean, does it sound important to you? That, like they break into people's houses, they steal things out of their house, they hit them with things called ELFs. Extremely low frequency weapons. Have you heard of that? CIA, FBI used them. They did it to the uh, people in Cuba. All of our people who were over in Cuba. I would defer to detectives so that it can maybe run it by the FBI. If somebody who has more. I told the FBI about this, and they said, Is this a federal matter? And I said, I don't know. You're the federal employee. You, you can tell me. And I got hung up on it. I don't know what the hell is going on. 
but it uh, sounds like the entire town's rolling code 3 right now. Lights and sirens. Going after somebody? What's going on? We got two police cruisers here, just uh, sit next to each other. Traffic. Guess they had something interesting going on. She she was and right, <laughs> right when I go by, turns his uh, his lights on. I guess that's to let me know that they um, didn't like what I was saying about police, fire, and EMS being involved in this yesterday. And then you're slowing down to keep an eye on them. And then somebody will come like out of your blind spot, like out of nowhere. And, uh, you know, you'll almost run into them, or you know, if you're just going slow and being careful, like you normally do. Imagine that timing, right? be normal. That'd be normal. Yeah, and you're 
here comes the other truck that would just happen to sit there. Sweeping up some leaves, and I get a direct flyover by this guy. Directly over my house. Right here, just sweeping up some leaves. Uh, this officer said the front airbag did okay, not deploy. You, you keep your distance, I'll keep your distance. distance. I'll stand back here. The front airbag actually did deploy. Okay. The front airbag did deploy, right. and I'm worried about his right. his health and safety right now. I think he needs medical attention. He's denied it. You want medical attention? He's denying medical attention. So. Right now? I just want to check his ice cream. Is there well, I mean, he just he just if it's had, not there. It's not there. The airbag went off. And if you have a head trauma, your eyes dilate. Okay. So okay. that's what I'm saying is why I was wondering if you needed medical attention or not. We, had, we offered it to him, so. Why, uh, do you share my concern? If there's a head trauma, the person might need some kind of medical Yeah, but it's, it's up to him. It's up to him if he wants it or not. Yeah, I understand okay, that. See, uh, all you, man. Yeah, yeah. Just keep your distance, we'll be good. All right. Okay, well, Derek, come over here and talk with me, and you can stand over here and keep your distance. Derek, let's go over here. Organized stalking and harassment. Yeah, I went to Iraq. Tours, Thanks, I brother. Appreciate it. I've been right there with you. And that's why I'm talking about it. You, sir. No, no, no. Ever heard of it? No. Never heard of it. Okay, I'm going to no. give you a couple flyers just so, you, so you're aware I'm that it happens. In it, honestly. Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act. Have you heard of FISA? No? Rod Rosenstein, he's, he's the, the head of the Department of Justice. Yeah. I'm recording. He's the head of the Department of Justice. He's on trial right now answering okay. questions to, to Congress about the FISA being used to illegally target American citizens. Okay. Your tax money, your tax money, everybody's tax money is going into these programs funded under FISA that go into I'm organized community harassment. And I'm just trying to pass the word to you. So I mean, since you're standing on my, I have the right to be here too. All right, have a good day, sir. All right. Come on, come on. You can... Okay. Um, this is my property, sir. I didn't I give anybody permission to go on my property. So I'm just going to ask you guys to, to leave, please, because you're trespassing. You want a place where we're allowed to be conducting a scene of an accident? Okay. Hit and run where your son failed to stay? Okay. We can be there if we have witnesses that prove the show that we have evidence. Okay, on my so, property? Yeah. Okay. And if All we right. need to, we'll have your property locked down, and we'll draw a search warrant to get the evidence that we need. So you can be compliant with it and let us do what we need to do because of your son's failure to act the way he should have, mm -hmm. or we'll just do things a more difficult way. It's up to you. Okay. Those are your two options. All right. Okay. No threats, no coercion, that's just what the law states. They, so we they, believe that we have evidence that links him to what he did and it shows that he was under the influence of something, then we'll lock your house down and nobody will be able to come in here and we'll okay. just draw a search warrant for it. All right, and I'm just recording this for okay. posterity you just can, for my records. I'm not trying to put you on YouTube or anything like that. Feel that you need to do. Okay. It's perfectly fine. Just stay here and don't let anybody around. Well, I didn't do anything. I'm, about, I'm driving the right way. I'm, I'm going to the post I office. Don't give a Good. Do what you want. You hey, it's a free country. For one motherfucking second. Keep going. Huh? Keep going. Exactly. No, I'll be back, and you better be here, motherfucker. It wouldn't have affected you for shit. Stay there for a second. Now let's see what happens next.
BGV0995. And then, no, 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 no. I'm backing out. And then we got BTJ4033 ATC. ATC, Environmental Geotechnological. Oh, I'll just do it. I just did a little research on some gang stalkers. You ever heard of that? Gang stalkers? Yeah, go look it up. Why was a gang stalker? Somebody that you might be. Somebody that I might be? Yeah, look up gang stalking. Uh, gang stalking. Gang stalking, yeah. Heard of that. What is that? Look it up. Do some research. Yeah. So, yeah, so pretty gay. Jay Victor, Attorneys for Freedom. Hi, sir. How are you doing? Am I speaking to Michael right now? Um, you are, but I need to um, give you a call right back. Can I call you at this number? Uh, yes, please. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to call right back. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Hey Mark, this is Mike Barton. I just wanted to double check with you. Do you have anybody that's supposed to be contacting me today? Um, not that I know of, but I might not know. There could be a paralegal or something I'm trying to call you. Did you get a call from somebody? Yeah, they just called me from uh, somewhere in Maryland, actually. And uh, said well, that... we didn't call you from Maryland. I yeah. Don't yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay, so the... When the police officers told me that uh, construction vehicles only have white and yellow lights, I don't think I was getting told the truth because there's a vehicle over here. Construction, and this is what I've seen since I moved here. and 
blue lights. The construction vehicle that uh, got in the altercation with me had rotators on the top of his vehicle. Actually, here, I'll this is So the, the guy that was chasing after me, that chased me to my house, had rotators on the top of his vehicle. It was a construction vehicle where they sit on the side of the road by these type of uh, construction areas and they have blue and red lights. So that's all I've seen here in Arizona. Every time there's a construction area like this, there is a vehicle parked on the side right behind them with blue and red lights. And I don't know if that's like a, I don't know what it is, it's unmarked. So that leads me to the impression that uh, these guys have blue and red lights. The guy that followed me to my house was right behind me when I then I didn't want to pull into my driveway because he had just pulled a gun on me and followed me to my house where my kids were sleeping. When I pulled around the corner to my uh, to the side of my street to see if that guy would turn the other way and go away, um, he backed up and I started seeing red and blue rotator lights, just like that vehicle that we're just looking at just now. So why would I not think that that guy turned his lights on? Because they're trying to say that I saw the police officers back there. All I saw was that white truck and I saw lights flashing around my neighborhood. So I don't know if this guy's just psycho and he's trying to um, pull me over or something with his construction cup, cup construction truck. But, uh, you know, that's why I took off. And uh, I think anybody else in my situation would have done the same thing. So that proves to me right there, there's a, there's a vehicle parked on the side of the road. Red, blue flashing lights. The police officer that uh, arrested me told me uh, that no construction vehicles have red and blue lights, only police officers. So maybe that's the case with that guy back there. He's a state or county officer. The vehicle's unmarked. How can anybody tell? So you have to get in there, uh, highway and local street laws, rules, regulations, standard operating procedures, uh, to identify all these vehicles. Why don't they just mark them? Um, so I just wanted to show how I was under the impression that that guy had turned his lights on. He had rotators on the top of his truck, just like, like this thing that, well, that doesn't have them on top of his truck there on the inside. So my guess is that is a police officer. And what that officer told me was true. There's only, only sworn officers have blue and red lights. If that's all I've seen since I've got here on construction sites, why would I not think that that's what they use on construction vehicles? It's not that hard to figure out. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick video to show this line of people here that are waiting to get into um, La Jolla High School here in Avondale. There's, uh, see there's some cop cars here. They've got this whole school on lockdown right now. And uh, my daughter's in there. And apparently there's seven kids with guns. And they caught one of them. And uh, the other kids with the gun said, if you don't let that guy go, we're going to shoot up the school.
so we're here waiting. I've made contact with my daughter and uh, text her first. I talked to her on the phone. They're in a classroom. They're hiding right now um, in the classroom, and I guess they haven't caught everybody. And this line is they're letting kids out one by one as they check them out. So um, we're waiting to hear back from her to uh, let us know that she's safe. That's it right now. Devices. Praise the Lord with all your heart. Praise. Praise him. At the tone, please record your voice message. When you are finished.